Welcome back to Much On Demand with our very special co-host, Emily Osmond. I know. Yeah. Okay, so we just saw that video. We're going to talk a little bit about your experience on sex. I know you're running around Toronto today. Yeah. Um, yeah. But tell me about that, the meaning of this song. Because to me, I was listening to it, and I know sometimes it's fruitless because you never know what the person's actually writing about. But it, to me, that song kind of, it sounds like it's reclaiming freedom. What inspired that? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a, I, I, that's a good interpretation. Um, the song is kind of just like breaking out and doing whatever you want and just having fun and being a kid and I think that was a good choice for the single just because it doesn't doesn't talk about a, like a specific interest or, or a boy or something like that. It's just kind of covers all the bases. Mm -hmm. When you wrote that in mind, were you breaking away from something? You know, that was one of those songs where it was just like, let's write a song about going, I don't know, like it wasn't even like it had a specific point to it, it was just like all the way up, all the way down, what does that even mean, I don't know, lots like it's of, up to you, things. right? Anything, so, everything. Yeah, that was, I wrote, um, I wrote that with Max Collins and Tony Faginson where we spent every single day, like I was, I think it was a, I think it was a freshman, I spent like every single day at their, at their place, just like writing, 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 it was so fun. Nice. Yeah. So, I mean, we talked about how you are 17, you're so young, but still you've done, you know, so many amazing things. So, talk about dreams that you have not yet realized. What what do you want to do? What's in the um, horizon for you? Well, I have a few that I want to do. Um, I'm excited to get back into film, uh, which is going to be great. I'm working on music right now, which has been a big, big thing, because we had to wait for a big break from working on Hannah Montana and everything else to actually find time to go on tour and, you know, come to Canada and do all that kind of stuff and shoot more music videos, and uh, this has been a good break for me. Um, but I'm excited to, you know, get back into Hannah Montana and, and do more movies and that kind of thing. Do you want to do comedy or drama? Um, I don't know. I, I think a change would be nice. I think some drama would be nice. Do you yeah. have, like, a, a dream person you'd like to work with? Oh, man, I have many dream people I'd like to work with. Um, I, I love Ed Norton. I love Meryl Streep. Meryl so Streep is, like, goddess. goddess. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. You're amazing. She can do anything. So I've seen her and everything. She's great. She's amazing. Um, we have Alexia actually, who's Ooh. in the audience, and she wants to ask you a question. Hi. Hello. Um, I was just wondering, what's the best part about being Emily Osman? <laughs> Aww. I don't know how to answer that question. Um, I don't know. Uh, I've got. I actually have some really amazing friends, and because of the position that I'm in, I'm constantly all over the place. I'm running around and. Um, I'm, you know, I've got my feet in the music industry and also, you know, acting and, and that kind of thing. And so I've had the opportunity to meet some amazing people. And um, uh, I've, I have a lot of really great friends, really close friends that, um, you know, I stayed in high school, went to regular school and uh, made some really normal friends, which was great. So, yeah. I guess that's the best part. It keeps you grounded. To it have does. good people around you, uh, I mean, in Hollywood it must be really important, but I know for everybody it's important, right? Yeah, to have good friends? Yeah. Oh, completely. Foundation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you ever put your friends in your music videos? Oh, oh, I promised my friends that I would at some point, but it's one of those things <laughs> where I kind of just want to keep everything separate. You know, I have friends and family and, and relationships, and I, I don't want, I don't know, it's just weird. I, I mean, you shouldn't care about that, you know? Keep friends friends. Yeah, business, exactly. Business. They don't care what, they don't even know that I'm here. They know I'm in Canada. They don't really know what I'm doing, but, you know, it's just, um, it's, I, I have three people that are very close to me, and um, I tell them everything that I'm doing. It's constantly, BBM is like the most wonderful thing on the planet. Um, and video chat. Video chat is great, because I'm, I'm always out of the country. Um, but other than that, I've got a huge group of friends back, back home. Nice. It's yeah. good to have. We've got, good. A, we've got a new challenge for you, though, as our co-host uh -oh. today. It's right here. Can you uh, throw to our Daily All right. Five? All okay, right, let's, okay, uh, let's check in with uh, today's Daily Five. I don't know, something about someone outside with a shirt and... There's a man outside who's wearing your face on my his My face shirt. on his chest. Yeah. Uh, Sexy. Does he have a mustache? No? no. Does he have he a, has mustache? a mustache? No mustache? Oh, I don't care let's then. Let's just not talk okay. about it right now. It's right. fine. Okay, so let's get into this. <laughs> we know that you're on tour. You're all over the world. And it's, how's it going, by the way? You're having fun, right? Great, great. Okay. Um, I just... I, th I was on tour for like all of November. Um, which doesn't seem very long to you, but it was a very long time for me. Um, and uh, we went all over the East Coast uh, in the States and uh, took a little break, had some Christmas, 
and uh, now we're in Canada. Nice. So, yeah. We're glad that you're here. But I want to ask you some 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 personal kind of questions. Not sure. too personal, but it's more about you know things that you need when you're on the road to make you feel comfortable. Right, right. Let's just say put yourself in these situations. Can you guys settle down? Seriously. Seriously, this is serious. Emily, you're. I don't want to hear it. They're okay. crazy. <laughs> okay, so let's just say hypothetically you're on tour and you lose your makeup bag. What's makeup the bag. one what's the one thing? Or you only have enough room in your pocket for like one thing. What's the one, one thing, thing you need to bring? Um I guess mascara was nice. nice. On tour I, I like rarely I rarely wear makeup unless it was funny, I, I sat down and had a talk with the band. I was like, so this makeup thing is not working for me because it's like constantly I'm on stage and I'm wearing like caked on makeup and that's really the only time where I go crazy with it. But all the other, they're like, why are you even wearing, don't, I mean, we hate girls who wear too much makeup, which I recently learned, guys hate it when you're like a cake face, yeah, which is great, which I was that. never one of those, but, um, they would talk me out of wearing makeup, which was really cool. they don't know who you are, right? Exactly. And you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I get it. And, and you can't even, like, go swimming, because then you're like, oh, I have to, you know, it's dumb. I don't yeah. know what this was, but. <laughs> your makeup slides off your face. Right? Yeah. And you have beautiful skin, so you don't need it. Oh, I'm very lucky. Accept it. Take that in. I'm very lucky. Okay, yeah. clothing. Let's just say you are, you know, you're you're on a plane, and you have your luggage. Okay, lost. I have my luggage. It's all gone. Right. Oh, oh no, it's, gone. it's gone. Oh, okay, But right. now you have to go quickly, because you have an interview, or you have a performance. You have right. to buy one item. What would you buy? Um, something very simple, um, like a black dress. Yeah. Like, very simple. Nothing that's too complicated. Like, this is complicated. I didn't put this together. I, like, this would be too much. If I only had, like, an hour, yeah. Um, I guess I would just go to Barney's and, like, buy a black dress and be done. That's it. Yeah. Okay, good. One-stop shop, and I like it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, there's a lot of plane theme that's going on right now. Plane. So, All now right. you're in the airport, and you're looking for a book to read. A book. Ooh. What would it be? Oh, right now, I'm reading um, Hunger Games, which is really good. What's that about? Um, it's, I'm reading, uh, I need to get out of this thing where I, I read about post-apocalypse stuff. It's just not good. Did you see 2012? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, um, it's either. more books. Um, but everything's like post-apocalypse. So this is a really cool story about um, there's only like 13 countries left. One's the capital country. And um, every year they send two kids from each country to, to the capital to fight like to the death. And whichever kid survives gets the surplus of like crops and food for their country. Wow. Which is weird. It's, just in, it's in the future, but we've progressed. I mean, I'm sorry. We've digress so much as a society that you know we're living in the slums and it's it's the coolest book but Whoa. yeah i can't read that kind of stuff it just makes it really oh it i'm out of hooked it. and it's like it's worse good. than twilight right now like twilight i couldn't <laughs> stop reading but yeah it's really good okay you got an ipod shuffle and it stopped for some reason on like two songs and that's all you can two listen songs? to the mm -hmm. entire flight what would they be oh man um Anything Beirut. I'm really into Beirut right Me now too. i love Beirut. you know that video where he has the noses on his face oh yeah, yeah amazing um Beirut and, uh, oh, God, uh, uh, something Radiohead, probably. Okay, yeah. okay, last question, last question. So uh, let's just say you're having a dream, you're having a recurring dream. Who okay. would appear in your dreams, Emily? Recurring dream. Who would be in your dreams? Um, you have to get a lot of rest on the road. There could be a lot of dreams. Like if I could choose one person to be yeah. in my dream? I don't think I would choose a person. I think I'd be, like, in a place. I think oh. I would choose to, like, be in New Zealand or something over and over and over again. That's romantic. That'd be cool. That romantic? Nice. Did you That's say romantic? romantic. Yeah. yeah, it is romantic. It could be. Yeah. New Zealand is beautiful out here. Okay, so coming up, I got to ask you this question, okay? Yes. So I want to know, let's just say you were to set one of your girlfriends up mm -hmm. with one of the Jonas Brothers. Oh, yeah. I'm putting you through okay. this. I'm just putting you through this right now. Uh-huh. So we want to know which brother you would we set them up with. We even have a picture. I Look know, at but, this. But you have time to think about it because we're going to check out Nick Jonas and the administration Ooh, at number four. All right. The answer's after this. Go.